everything happens pretty much after we initiate the call to our uh, server so just set the headers or just the header okay create a new variable header uh, let's call it authentication parameters of params equals new standard class just we create an empty class to use it like a container of the username and then the password and auth parameters username and you can put whatever variable whatever value or whatever thing that you retrieve from a get request or post request or from the database or whatever you want to put there i'm going to use just my name abu Bakr, and the password uh, params password mm, let's just use root okay and we have our objects with the username and the password however we need to okay sorry here params okay we need to prepare it to be sent in a soap way or in a sub variable so here's what we need to do header params params equals new sub var variable and the variable is from the auth parameters and so encode object this just states that we're going to send the variable as a SOAP encoded object, which is a simple SOAP structure or structs if you are pretty familiar with the C and C++ concepts or other languages that use the structs parameter. And now here is the header. Header equals new SOAP header. Okay, with the namespace, which is whatever you want to put there, just let fill it right here. Code of, and here we need the name of the function that will authenticate the variables of the data we will send to the server. So we'll call the function authenticate. Authenticate, and the parameter is to be passed, which are the header parameters, and just false okay that's it since we have initiated our client right here we need now to set the headers for that and we just need to use a simple function which is we use this this instance which holds our initiated client so client and set so headers a simple array as we've mentioned before everything's going to be an array and use the header that we have formatted as a sub object or a substructure that's it pretty much that's all we need to do on the level or the client side and now let's just go to the server and do some modifications by the way if we go back here and refresh the page we will get everything's fine because so far the server doesn't care whether we send a header or not because we're not creating any data from that level however once we start manipulating the file on the server side things are going to change and do something like that public static function authenticate this has to match exactly the authenticate name on the client side that we passed here so rather I'll copy and paste just to avoid any typos and we have the header parameters variable header params and start processing the data that we have sent okay and let's 
just do a simple if and else and later we can modify the code when we reach the level of refactoring it if the header parameters and use the username equals the value that we've set Abu Bakr and the same header parameters at the level of the password password equals root then just return true otherwise else we are going to throw an exception and in our case it's an SOAP exception which will be returned in a form of XML if you are in a mode of analyzing the data how it sends forth and back and okay throw oh sorry what thrown throw new so fault and the fault we will just return bonk user pass combination and set the error to 401 or whatever you want there and save and that's it pretty much so refresh the page and nothing changes however if for example we go to the level of the client and change the username for example to Abu Bakas we just add an S refresh and we get this error and encode sub false exception which is wrong user and pass combination error 401 and